in this video we are going to discuss introduction of jet transforms so up to now we completed so many transforms like fourier transform laplace transform like this so why we are doing all these transforms means to get frequency domain of the signal we are going to deal with this transforms that means if you want to do any analysis on lta systems then you require transforms that means for example if you are dealing with continuous time LTA system analysis then you can go for continuous time Fourier transform or Laplace transform. If you are dealing with that means if you are going to analyze the LTA system as discrete LTA system that means the system you are going to analyze is a discrete LTA system then you will go for discrete time Fourier transform or jet transforms you can take either of that discrete time Fourier transforms or jet transforms that means here by using jet transforms we can analyze discrete time LTA systems so that means alternative of discrete time Fourier transform is jet transforms so here we will get frequency domain of the discrete time signals by using jet transform also before getting into jet transform concept here I want to consider the fundamental difference of continuous time and discrete time signals. Here I listed very important four points which gives the fundamental difference between continuous and discrete time systems. So coming to continuous time system or signal time is continuous here whatever the time is there that is continuous it is not going to cut anywhere. So, if 1 is the time 1.1 is there, 1.2 is there, 1.001 is there, 1.002 is there like that. Here time is continuous whereas in discrete time system time is discrete not continuous. That means if you are having your value at one time period again you will get another sample or value of the signal at 2, 3. Four, only at integer values you are going to have your signal value, value. So now coming to the second important point about continuous. Continuous signal can be defined for all values of time. For example, if you want to define any signal, for example here you can see these are the graphical representation of the signals. So here when you are defining continuous signal, it we can define at all intervals of time. For example, if this signal is given, they are asking what is the signal value at 0.001. You can trace that value. Whereas in discrete time signal, discrete signals are defined for only at discrete intervals of time. So as discrete signals are defined only at a discrete values of time, we can't trace the value of signal at continuous intervals. If this signal is given as this is a discrete signal, if they are asking what is the value of 0.001 when t is equivalent to 0.001, what is the signal value means we can't trace. Why? Because they will provide the samples or signal values at discrete intervals of time 1, 2, 3 or minus 1, minus 2 like this. So for discrete signals, these discrete signals are defined only at discrete intervals of time. Coming to third point, here the independent variable is time. Always both in continuous time and discrete time signals. So the uh, independent variable is time but in continuous time you are going to represent that independent variable as t. So here the independent variable is time and is indicated with t. Here the independent variable is time only but it is indicated with n. The graphical representation of continuous time signal will be like this. Here you can observe we can take function of t for example if this is y of t y refers to name of the signal and y of t shows that it is a function of time. It is a continuous signal where t is a continuous time period. So in x axis you need to consider the time period on y axis you need to note all amplitudes of the signals. As this is a continuous signal you are having all amplitudes at all points of t. But here 
this is the graphical representation of discrete signal here you can't see the amplitude of the signal at continuous values you can only see the amplitude of the signal at discrete values that means at 1 2 3 4 only those are noted and here also independent variable is time but that independent variable time is indicated with small n so here that small n will take on x axis and x of n refers to it is a signal with name x, x of n refers to that is a discrete time signal. Why? Because that is a function of discrete time, n refers to discrete time, small t refers to continuous time. When you saw x of n, you can say that is a signal of discrete time and here when you saw x of t, you can say that is signal of continuous time. This is about fundamental difference between continuous and discrete time signals. So, we are going to deal with discrete time signals in jet transform. Jet, just jet transform is used to analyze discrete time LTA systems.